Now let's discuss quantified statements. Quantified statements are statements that has quantifiers. So the quantifiers are the words all, some, and no or none. These statements here are statements containing a quantifier. All poets are writers. So this one is quantifier. Another example, some people are bigots. No math books have pictures. Some students do not work hard. These statements here are examples of quantified statements. In the following table here, we can see the ways or equivalent ways of expressing quantified statements. For example, we have the statement all or B. An equivalent way to express the statement is there are no A that are not B. Examples using two equivalent quantified statements, all poets are writers. Then we would just say, there are no poets that are not writers. So A here is poets, B is writers. And then when you say there are no poets that are not writers. Okay, so let's consider the statement some A are B. Take note, this A and B here might be words or statements. An equivalent expression for this statement is, there exists at least one A that is a B. If we consider the statement, some people are bigots, the equivalent for this statement is, at least one person is a bigot. The statement, no A or B. An equivalent way to express this statement is all A or not B. So an example to this one, an example of no A or B in this format is this statement, no common codes are fatal. Now equivalently, we could say this statement as all common codes are not fatal. Then we have this statement, some A are not B. So this statement, some A are not B, is equivalent to not all are B. This statement, some students do not work hard, is an example of a statement in this format, some A are not B. Some students do not work hard. An equivalent to that statement is not all students work hard. From the previous example, we could easily see the negation of the quantified statements. When you say all are B, all are B, if you negate this, if the negation of all is some. So to negate this one, all becomes some. So all A becomes some A and R becomes are not B. So all A are B, when you negate that, is some A are not B. And then this is equivalent to not all A or B. Again, as I mentioned, when you say some, the negation of some is no. So some A or B, when you negate that, you will have no A or B. The negation is all A or not B. I want you to take note of the relationship. Again, the negation of all is some. And the negation of some is no. Now here are some examples of quantified statements. This is the statement and we'll look at the negation. So we can also represent our statement using Venn diagram. So when our statement, our statement is all writers are poets, meaning if you're a writer, then you are a poet. So you can uh, represent it using this Venn diagram here, wherein a writer is a subset, a proper subset for poets. Then you negate this, the negation of all is some. 
So when you negate that, that becomes this statement here. Some writers are not poets. Or if you want to see the, the Venn diagram for this statement, you will actually be looking at this Venn diagram here, wherein this one is a poet and a writer. And this region here is a region then for the negation, where you have some writers are not poets. Again, the negation of all is some, and the negation of are is are not. Take a look at this statement here. We have the statement, some canneries weigh 50 pounds. As I mentioned, the negation of some is none or no. So when you negate some canneries weigh 50 pounds, this will become no cannery weighs 50 pounds. This statement here can be represented using this Venn diagram, and we're actually referring to this region here. Some canneries weigh 50 pounds. So you have canneries and then 50 pounds. Now to negate this means this region should not exist. So to do that, you just have to separate these two sets here. You have canneries and then 50 pound objects with no intersection. That is the negation. This region here, everything is inside poet. When you negate that, you just say, not everything in here is inside here. So that's how you ended up with this representation here. You just have to take note that the negation of all is some, and the negation of R is R not. Now let's take a look at an example of how we can negate a quantified statement. Consider this statement here. The mechanic told me all piston rings were replaced. I later learned that the mechanic never tells the truth. What can I conclude? So to do this, let's try negating the statement all piston rings were replaced. We begin by the mechanic statement, which is all piston rings were replaced. If you remember, the negation for all is some, and the negation for were would be were not. So because the mechanic never tells the truth, I can conclude that the truth is the negation of what I was told. Again, the negation of all or B is some A or not B. So therefore, the negation of this statement here is that some piston rings were not replaced. And I can also correctly conclude that at least one piston ring was not replaced because this statement here is equivalent to this statement. The equivalent of some A or not B is at least one A is not B.